For this recipe you'll need a flan tart tin and I'm using this rectangle tin 36cm by 13cm with a removable base. Spray lightly with canola oil spray or olive oil spray. One quantity of rhubarb jam and one quantity of sweet short crust pastry. Dust the bench and pastry very lightly with flour then try rolling pastry always away from you. Also try to roll the pastry out in the shape of the flan tin. We can cut about that much off and set this aside. We can use this to decorate the top. Just wrap that other piece up and set it aside. Continue to roll out the pastry until it will cover the tin with an additional 2cm edge. Also aim to have the pastry rolled out to a 3mm thickness. Just get the rolling pin, dust it with flour and just roll the pastry gently over the rolling pin. Okay, so we've got it on the rolling pin. What we're going to do now is just place it at the base of the tin and gently unroll it into the tray. We're going to be gentle and slide this pastry into, into the tin. So just gently ease it in. Okay, so now I'm just going to use the rolling pin to just roll over that tin just to get a nice even cut of the pastry and we can reuse this pastry um, to decorate the top. So just gently put that together, roll that up, knead it just a little bit and wrap that up. I sprinkle a little bit of breadcrumbs or you could use... Um, some um, leftover sponge cake crumbs or any kind of cake crumbs not too much just a little bit and the reason we're doing this is so that if there's any excess liquid from my rhubarb jam that um, that comes out of the jam while it's cooking the the short pastry won't be affected too much by it it won't become a soggy base I just want to pour or spoon it in to the tart. Place slices of strawberry on top of the jam and place it any way you like. Roll out leftover short crust pastry to about one millimetre thick and using a crimpled cutter or a ravioli edge cutter Cut strips of pastry about 15 centimetres by 1 centimetre wide. You'll need a few of these strips to create a lattice pattern on top of the tart. Create a lattice pattern of the strips on a diagonal and make sure these strips go under and over each other to make a lattice. Some egg wash, this is just one egg um, lightly beaten up. You can add a little bit of cream if you want a little bit of rich richness to that egg wash or a little bit of milk but I just like one egg that's fine. And just some Demerara, brown sugar, just sprinkle that all over the top. Let this sit in your fridge for half an hour and go set your oven at 180 degrees um, so we can preheat it while this is resting. Okay, the tart is now ready. The pastry is golden brown. This tart has baked for 43 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. The baking time will range anywhere between 40 to 45 minutes for this tart. Allow tart to cool in tin for 5 to 10 minutes. After the tart has been removed from its tin and cooled completely, 
place it on a serving platter and dust with pure icing sugar. You could also serve this tart with double cream or vanilla bean ice cream and pieces or slices of strawberry. You should be able to get about five to six slices of this tart and this is a great tart to have for Christmas which is coming up.